Link on stream. I remember that. Okay, okay here we go. Inkling versus Young Link. Swedish looks very much more calm and collected than J Dragon. J Dragon kind of fidgety in the beginning, you know, trying to get his footing. But J Dragon, or excuse me, Swedish, very experienced in the competitive scene. So he he's not going to be susceptible to being nervous and all those all those kind of like jitters that a beginning players have. Uh, that's cute, J uh, Swedish, is trying to wave dash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's useless in this game as much as I do. It's not really useless. I mean, it's. It very limited options and situations that it would actually be quite effective. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, he ends up picking the bomb right there, racking up some extra percent, but even then, he doesn't find himself at too much of a deficit, but that up B leading into the up air. Yep. Everyone DIs in on that because they're expecting to fly away, but that just leads you, makes it easier for them to land the up air afterwards. I mean, even then, they can just follow it right afterwards, yeah, too, yeah. That, that we see from time and time again from Zen. Mm-hmm. Or Cookie Slayer, sorry. Who? <laughs> Cookie Slayer. You're right. All right. Bomb traps? Potentially forces him to jump, forces him to air dodge back to the to the ledge. But Swedish still trying to make his way in right now. That's a really good challenge that they're coming up from Swedish with the dash stack immediately. Saw that down air coming as well. He keeps going for these up airs, but Young Link being such a light percent and a floaty at that too, make yeah. it very difficult to get any type of conversion. Okay, there we go. Gets the up air, able to close out that stock. One of the difficulties for Young Link could be that he has a bit of a hard time killing, but. Uh, if you just stay safe and consistent with your character, then eventually you'll be able to find it, so. Alright, down tilt, poking the shield right there. Throwing the splat bomb, has J Dragon right back off stage. Looking for a back air? Yes, but J Dragon just jumping up with that down air yet again. He's really trying to break zone here. Swedish Light not really finding anything, though. J Dragon still playing his game very nicely. Gonna be able to make it back to the stage? Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. Young Link possessing a very good recovery. So hard to try to edge guard him. J Dragon working on a possible three stock off of that SD from Swedish Delight. Oh wow, the neutral are actually challenging and winning at that too. A quick 11% at that. Back air, gonna do it. Swedish Delight finds himself on the board now. Yep. Alright, that attack comes in. Oh, dash back again, actually playing hot potato with that bomb. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> Swedish Delight did exactly what he wanted. Try to use the grab armor from the down throw, but unfortunately the, the bomb ended up falling out of J-Dragon's hand. Oh, okay, okay. J-Dragon still keeping up a very nice lead here. I mean, Swedish Delight, he's been trying to zone break. He's been breaking neutral a lot, but that leads him to be committal, and he does isn't really getting the conversion he was getting over against the uh, Osset. Austin or earlier, so. Well, let's see. Oh, doesn't even need the roller. Just go straight into four smash. Looking for a down air. Oh, he wanted the back air instead, but no tech, and he's gonna lose that stock. J Dragon getting game one. Yeah, he was dead anyway. But you know what? We take those to the bank. You always take those. You always take free. Those. You yeah. better deposit that free. Yeah, c completely. I don't care if you got wells or you go to the credit union. You put it somewhere. Alrighty, J Dragon gonna have one up on the board. Going to FD this time. Yeah, FD, Swedish Delight, most likely going to stick out with the Inkling. Yes, he is. And really, for, for, for Swedish, I would just like him to see, trying to mix up a lot of these conversions that he's doing off of his up air, or off of the up throw, because he's going for this up air. Maybe try to go in with that neutral air, force that air dodge, and then try to cover him with a forward or a back air afterwards. Maybe even just another neutral air. All right, but easy damage so far coming from J Dragon. Oh, yep, he's trying to wait it out, that air dodge, but fortunately didn't know what angle that J Dragon was going to go into. I mean, that's the beauty of having a directional air dodge. You mix up your opponent quite well. Yep, there goes a neutral air. Got some percent, but couldn't get the follow-up afterwards. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, let's see here. Yeah, Swedish has mostly been being a game of like Swedish Delight trying to figure out how to make his way in. I've... I mean, you know, I'm trying to think in melee. The only character really that has, excels in like projectile zoning is probably Falco, but that's more like Falco stuffs approaches with lasers and then. And I was gonna say, and it's, and it's just yeah. one projectile. It's not like a multitude between the bomb. Yeah. So this and is kind of a this is kind of a skill that you learn. Well, I mean, I mean, Young Link in four, melee yeah. can go ahead and basically do the same exact thing. Not to the extent that we're seeing right now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But who plays Young Link in melee? <laughs> <laughs> a very long time ago. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> He's here, damn it. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyways, here we go. Well, Spot Bomb actually coming in right after 
Lung Young Lee's bomb actually connecting as well. Down air, getting what he needs, but Young Lee gonna be able to recover to that ledge, but the down air again, finally getting the spiking hitbox. Yeah. If anyone's good at uh, intercepting players while they're trying to recover from stage, it's definitely melee players. Very nice stuff, but the up smash gonna close it out there. Keep things close for J-Dragon. Yeah, not too far behind. The disjoint coming in full force, going past the down air attempt right there. Oh, again, he's trying to go for that dash attack, and it gets snuffed out by the dash attack himself, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But J-Dragon really is just sticking to his game plan, tossing out the projectiles, trying to mix up Swedish Delight as he can. Down throw leading into the forward air. All right, let's see here. It's a bomb toss into the back air. Is the jump gone? Yes, yeah, it is. Gone. Wow. Clean, simple edge guard there. Is this going to be the name of the game for Swedish Delight? You just drop game one off in an SD, and then, <laughs> you, just and then you figure out the matchup afterwards? Now right, for another dash attack. Not going to land it, though. Splot bomb straight to the face. Quick 18. 29. Yeah, still going with the damage. Oh, it didn't dash dance, uh, so it had to pivot out. So didn't quite get the turnaround in time. The boomerang actually hit him at the tail end of that, too. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, DI's out on the boomerang, not able to find anything. Usually, boomerang has to be point blank for it to set up into a fair, just like that. Yeah. Oh, wow! He, like, flew off the stage. Yeah, he had no idea where to DI that for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all of a sudden, J Dragon really bringing this back, potentially being able to make it out of pulls, but we'll have to see. Forward <gasps> smash! Okay. Got a little bit unsafe there. Ooh, dropping down again. I don't think he can make this one back. Yeah. He cannot. Swedish Delight taking game two. Nice stuff overall. I mean, he was doing a lot cleaner with the edge guards and that whenever he... We ain't doing no best of fives and pulls. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not even on the finals of pulls. Yep. Hold up. Get to the next round, man. All right, no. I like that from Swedish. Able to go ahead... Get that game adapting quite well. Yep. And not SD. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, here. Let's see. Yeah, the characters are going to stay the same if I'm not mistaken. That is exactly it. And we're going to Kalos. A very good pick coming off from J Dragon. You know, that high ceiling going to benefit him quite a bit. At the same time, he has a lot more room to go ahead and play with. Uh, really, projectile game at that, too. The boomerangs. Yeah. The arrows are going to be in full effect, and the fact that the platform is above the ledge, you add your, you give yourself another defensive option when you're trying to get off the ledge. You can just double jump to it instead. Yeah. Okay. I like the idea. Usually after a tech chase situation, Inklings will either opt for a jab block or the roller instead. Either of them will probably be a guaranteed hit, but doesn't quite get anything there. Okay, there we go. Cool, runs right in there, getting the up throw. The up air not going to be on the line. Swedish is going to have to go ahead and set that timing on it. Down tilt, catching him, I like it. Back air, oh, the last hit of that up B actually beating out Swedish. That's very fortunate for J-Dragon. And a beautiful yeah. air dodge there at the end, too. Mm -hmm. All right, back to the other side. All right, let's try let's try this again. Not quite able to find anything yet. That's actually really slick because it covers roll right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, he wave land down. That's going to be a quick punish. The grab did whiff. Yeah, Swedish. Uh, yeah, after that first game, it looked like he did quite couldn't figure out how to get around the projectiles, but now he's definitely doing a much better job. Going to get clipped right there, but still, he's in control of the game for the most part. Another up throw. Oh, he finally got the up air. I like that. Oh, he figured out the timing. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> Swedish Delight is now a top inkling main. It, it took him two games. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bomb for bomb. There we go. J-Dragon still trying to keep it in here. And opting for the neutral air there instead. Didn't try to go for the forward air. Yeah. Just goes yeah. for the dodge attack. No jab blocks in. And another potential clip. But it recovers high. Wow. Clinging out with the boomerang, but... <laughs> you have Jay Dragon still feeling confident. Went with the forward air anyway, regardless. Yeah. Wow. Boomerang in the ground. That's what he was trying to get before, and finally it worked. And 
Well, that was a free pivot grab, but Jay Dragon just running completely away. Just wants to reset this neutral. Okay, back air. Into the platform. Yes, I like it. Yeah, Gave him enough time to react to either option. See down air? No. Look the back air instead. Is it going to be a punish? Yep. I like it. Swedish Light just trying to bob and weave in between all these projectiles. J Dragon making it very difficult for Swedish Light to go ahead and get right into him because he understands when Swedish Delight gets inside, he is making him pay right now. Yeah. I think he's uh, slowly mixing up his projectile game, mixing from be in between all projectiles to intercept them in the air by conditioning with the projectiles. I think it's working out so far. He's already brought this back, so he's just got to seal out the stock first and then. He is in a really good position to try and take the game. But not without Swedish Delights going in with that back air. He's really yeah, he's greedy with fine. those edge guards in general. Oh, the neutral is setting in the opposite direction. Very fortunate for Swedish Delight, but finally the neutral air is going to catch him. Yeah. There goes the roll. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, wow, the bop. Okay, there we go. Still okay. gets the fair, though. <laughs> Almost got out of that. I didn't even know he had a bomb on him. Yeah, not I had no idea he had a bomb on him. I just saw an explosion. I was like, oh, I guess he had a bomb. All right, we'll roll with it. I think Swedish, just in general, got getting a little bit too greedy with the edge guard, so he's making himself lose stage control a little bit too much, and then Young Lee can easily reversal that. Well, we're not going to land, forcing the air dodge instead. Going to get that nice percent of that, too. You get a down air? No, landing with the neutral air. Good adjustment right there coming up from J Dragon, not showing the obvious option. Wait for it. Ooh, yes. I like that. Using the grab armor. Ooh, forward air. Going to get another one? Oh, we forced that air dodge down air! Oh, oh he got a second hitbox! He made it back, he made it back! Alrighty, J Dragon's got a, a second there. chance at life here. Goes for the back air. Puts him off stage one more time. Goes for the plot platform. Gives him a lot of space to work with, actually. Decided to try and uh, go for the projectile game instead. Yes, yeah, Swedish tossing out these splat bombs. Up angle boomerang, making it very difficult for Swedish to get right into him. Ooh, rising neutral air. That's going to be a grab, a forward air? Yes. Or edge guard situation. Oh. Goes back for the back air, but he has bomb available. It's going to be just fine. Oh, and he hits him with the back air again. Still not enough. Wow, he's been getting out of these situations <gasps> so nicely. But the tech in place, and that is it. Barely making it out of pool. Swedish Delight will be moving on into top 48. Yeah, Swedish was able to go ahead and call out that tech in place. Got the back air and moving on through this bracket. Yes. All Very right. great stuff. So up next, we have Edmund going against Zion, who we saw a little bit earlier to open up this set, or open up this block. Yeah. Edmund, of course, one of uh, one of our SoCal commentators. Yeah. Doing it, making it this part. Yeah. Th th yeah. Let's go, Edmund. Commentators aren't just, uh, you know, commentators. <laughs> they can play. I got DQ for winners. Because you were here? No, I was grabbing a beer. Oh, okay. <laughs> then you deserve that. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. I definitely hit up the chat, and I was like, yo, I'm coming back. And I still got DQ'd. I was so sad. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, but you know what? It's the mango. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. I think this is our last match up the block, actually. Is so. it actually? Let me see. My yeah. bad. Looks like we're the last yep. one queue. All right. So we got Edmund going against Zion. Is Edmund still rocking Wolf, or is he Joker now? Uh, I think he plays both.